What's up guys? So uh, I want to talk about a scary uh, symptom of anxiety. This anxiety symptom basically made me think that I was having a stroke. It is called a brain zap. Brain zaps and anxiety, uh, you know, they go hand in hand, especially if you've had anxiety for a long period of time. Uh, they're not super, super common. Um, they're very short in nature and sporadic. Like it's not, you know, you, it's hard to time them. Not every time you're stressed out are you gonna experience it. It's not as uh, persistent as like maybe chest pain. Now I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm just saying the norm and what I've, what I've observed from other people and what I've read. Um, for instance, I was horrible with anxiety, with my health anxiety and panic disorder, uh, especially those two for four years, okay? Just terrible for four years. And I only experienced two of these. One that I can really, really remember, which was the scariest one. And the second time it happened, I kind of figured out that that was what it was and I didn't worry so much. But I'll tell you the story on the first one uh, that I had. And basically, I was living with my ex-girlfriend at the time in her apartment because I was such a winner. Um, yeah, uh, I stayed up all night drinking the night before like I did all the time because I was such a winner. And I woke up the next day and I was nauseated. I had, you know, horrible, horrible uh, anxiety symptoms. My chest pain was the, you know, just as always crushing, uh, making me feel like I was going to drop dead at any moment. Obviously, my anxiety was super high because of the alcohol that I had the night before. So I was having an anxiety hangover, which if you don't know what that is, uh, have bad anxiety and then drink. And then the next day you wake up, it's not just a hangover. It's like the worst thing in your freaking life. Uh, it's just terrible. So, uh, yeah, so I was already feeling like crap. So I got up and we were getting ready to go to a Little League softball game as her little sister was playing. So she was in the bathroom doing her makeup. I had already showered. I was going to go in and like brush my teeth or I was going to tell her something or use the bathroom or something, pee or whatever. And as I was getting close to the doorway, I just felt this crazy buzzing rush in my head. Uh, it kind of started at the top and ran down, but it was like somebody put jumper cables on my ears. And I was just like, Ugh. it was just like crazy. I remember like, because guys, if you would have seen the video of me on the first one, you would have been like, what is up with this dude? Like, he looks like he's like having a stroke or something, or he just looks like he's going crazy because it was brand new. This is the very first time this ever happened to me. So I was like, I literally thought I was having a stroke. I remember like being like, oh, like I was doing like that because I was, it felt su like super scary and like really freaking real. So with that being said, uh, that was that. After that, I remember telling uh, my ex at the time, I was like telling her, call 911, call 911. And she didn't do it, thank goodness, because it didn't last very long. But at that moment, I literally thought I was about to drop dead. I was like, here's the stroke that I've been waiting on. Um, guess it got me before the heart attack and the cancer and everything else that I thought was wrong with me. So that's my story on that. I had another one later on. It was just more random. It wasn't as intense feeling, but right away I, I could recognize that it was what happened the first time. So it didn't freak me out as bad. But they are very, very scary guys, but good news, they're usually uh, sporadic, spread out in nature, um, and they're short duration usually. Now, everybody's different. <clears throat> if you have experienced anything different than what I have explained, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, people, you know, have described it as like a jolt or a, a shake or a buzz or electric shock. Zap is like a really, really good word. But I honestly think it's kind of like a spasm, like a brain spasm. You know, we get these spasm and twitches in our body from anxiety, <clears throat> from the muscle tension and stuff all the time, but you never think about what your brain's doing, okay? That's an organ up there that can spaz out too, I guess. Uh, so maybe that's what actually is going on. Maybe it's what that vibration feeling was. I don't know. Uh, there's not a lot of information on brain zaps. Uh, I've kind of looked over the past day or two, just trying to scrape up some extra things that maybe I didn't know that I could share with you guys. The thing that I've come across the most is that it's just from high levels of stress persistently happening. And I guess, uh, yeah, persistent, consistently having high levels of stress, not just like stressful today and you're good for a few days and then uh, you have a bad couple days and you're good for a week. This is like every day, you know, balls to the wall, like hard stress. So. Uh, just something to think about there. You need to get your stress levels or at least start stringing some good days together so you can make these uh, you know, less frequent and more sporadic. Now, there are some people that are going to have this all the time, and that's just how their body handles it. Just like some people have more uh, chest pain, some people have more IBS. Everybody's different. That's the thing. There's no... Uh, 
you know, golden rule on symptoms. Everybody's going to experience things in a different way. We're all different people and we interpret and handle our symptoms in different ways. So with all that being said, guys, yeah, brain zaps are very, very scary, but they are common with anxiety. At least having them a couple times, maybe in a few years, a few years of a, of having anxiety. So with that being said, we do need to get a, you know, a handle on it. And I tell you all these tips at the end of my video, guys. Um, I really want you guys to start following some of these. Um, I get, you know, a lot of feedback from people after I give tips and it's just like another question and it's another question. I understand a lot of you guys are scared, but you have to start actually, you know, getting a plan of action together and I'm giving you one. I'm telling you all these tips. It's a lot of people, the honest truth, a lot of people don't want to hear, you know, that they got to start exercising. A lot of people don't want to hear that they got to start eating right, you know. Uh, journaling is for losers or nerds or or just for women. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm a manly man. I don't need to have my own personal diary or, you know, I don't want to do meditation, man. I'm not a monk, you know. You got to stop making excuses for yourself and you got to start getting out there and making a plan of action, okay. You need to write down what you are doing in your life right now that could be causing your anxiety. Get rid of it, okay. You can do that in a journal, Journaling every single day and showing gratitude for the things that you have in your life is a great way of changing your mind and starting to think more positively. Okay, meditation every single morning and every single evening is going to set your day up. It's going to set your week up, your month, and your life up, honestly. It helps you visualize your goals. There are you know tons of videos on guided meditation. I will have some that I will do in the future, but I don't, you know, I don't want to you know, go into it you know, half-heartedly and not do a good job. I want it to be good for you guys. Um, Eating a healthy diet is going to help you with your brain chemistry. It's going to help you get the nutrients that maybe you weren't getting with processed food, okay? Cutting out sub substances like alcohol and uh, caffeine and tobacco and drugs, of course. Those are going to help you out, maybe limiting your sugar a little bit. It's just overall being healthy, okay? That's going to help you with your mental health, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Go down in the description down below. There are going to be a bunch of resources, workbooks on panic, you know, panic disorder, panic attacks, health anxiety. There's going to be uh, some books on uh, journaling and meditation. There's a lot of stuff down there. I have my own personal anxiety store that I created for products that I recommend. So there's also going to be the vitamins that help you with anxiety. Uh, if you're not taking a multivitamin, guys, you need to be doing it. That's going to help you out with the nutrients that you aren't getting in your diet. Even eating a healthy diet, it's hard to get everything. So uh, multivitamins, great. Um, aside from that, guys, join the Facebook group if you haven't because we got a lot of cool members in there, a lot of people that are helping each other out. Um, you know, I post in there whenever I can. Uh, we all just give each other positive feedback, and it's a really, really cool family to be a part of. If you have any type of anxiety disorder, make sure that you join that. Like this video if you got some value out of it. I hope I was able to explain it in my words the best way I can. Um, brain zaps. Yeah, they're, they're freaking scary. Um, yeah, so leave me a comment down below as well. Let me know if you've dealt with any of this and your take and your experience and what did a brain zap feel like to you. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so you can get updates whenever I have my videos. And join my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Instagram down below, okay? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the Sunday afternoon.